welcome students today's topic is deterministic finite automata so usually we call this as the dfa this is a part of uh, uh, formal language and automata theory and it was taken by myself daniel as professor uh, department of mathematics cpa college so this is the outline of this uh, automata theory this is called the transition diagram so the early development of this automata theory was uh, initially by during the second world war uh, the mathematician alan turing who developed a, a first automated machine called the christopher which interrupts the enigma the communication system of germans so by the which the second world war is uh, came to an end later it was identified and honored so this is the basic uh, basic transition uh, transitions formats of a transition diagram so in depth uh, so the anatomy of a dfa is given by this diagram so all the circles marked in the circle are the states so q1 q0 q2 q3 are the states and the states with double circles are the accepting state or the final state out of which we can get the output from the automation so uh, similarly the states with uh, the input symbol like uh, input arrow without any labeling is called the input uh, arrow and uh, uh, state with the input arrow is uh, said to be the initial state or the starting state so on all the other uh, arrows marking with zeros and ones are called the input symbols so if we consider something like if we consider from q0 it takes one and it will reach q1 so the transition from q0 to q1 is accompanied by the input symbol 1 so if we take the output from q1 it it has 1 similarly if we take if we, if q0 have the self loop of 1 so self loop of input 0 so if you take the transition from q0 to q0 itself it has a input symbol 0 so it has n number of zeros and if once if we takes uh, from q0 to q1 by taking the input symbol 1 and if we take the output means we will get the output as 0 0 0 n number of zeros and 1 so in depth we will see in the next example so machine of the string that accept the process is called the uh, dfa so the alphabet of a finite automation is a set of all the symbols for this uh, example we have the input symbols as zeros and ones so language of a finite automation is a set of strings that accept by the automation so consider this example so in this example the initial state and the final state both are same as the q0 so because the open arrow is behind is in front of the q0 and also the double circle is also in the q0 so both the initial state and final state is q0 it has a self loop of 0 and 1 so it has n number of loopings of 0 n number of loopings of 1 so the language defined by this automation so the l of m is all strings of zeros and ones it has n number of zeros or n number of ones consider the next example so in this example so we can have uh, like uh, uh, q not and q1 you have two states the input symbol is marked in front of q not as well as the double circle is also marked to the q not so starting state and the ending state is both same in q not but the labeling is different from the previous example so in this example so we have the loop in both uh, uh, states so the labeling is marked with zeros but the transition between q0 and q1 is marked with 1 suppose if we consider the transition from q0 to q1 it will takes the input symbol 1 and it will reach q1 so after reaching q1 we need output means again we have to travel to the q0 that is from the transition from q1 to q0 it will takes other input 1 and it will reach the q0 once it reach the q0 it will we will get the final output because it is the only final state available in this automation so if we consider this language it have n number of zeros because both uh, states have the self looping of zero so it has n number of zeros but the only possibility of getting output after reaching q1 is even number of twos so one one is from q0 to q1 the other one is from q1 to q0 so definitely it should have at least two ones to reach the final state to complete this automation 
Therefore, we define the language as L of m is equal to W such that W is a even, even number of ones. W should have the even number of ones. So uh, this is the notations for this. So an alphabet, uh, alphabet capital sigma is a finite set of language, finite set of input symbols. That is for this example, zero and one. And string over an alpha uh, capital sigma is the finite length of a sequence. So for any string, uh, any string x, the modulus of x is the length of the string. So uh, the unique string of length zero is denoted by epsilon, and it is called the empty string. So language over sigma is a set of all strings over sigma. So this is a fi uh, this is the uh, formal uh, definition for this automation, the finite automation. The finite automation is a phi tuple. It has a phi partitions that is capital Q, capital sigma, delta Q naught, and capital F. So where Q naught uh, is the starting state, we all know that Q naught is the starting state. It belongs to the capital Q because. Q, capital Q is a set of all states involved in this automation. So if we consider any automation, there are a lot of states will be there. For, uh, for the previous example, there are two states. So if we consider capital Q means Q0 and Q1. By the previous example, it has four states, Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3. So set of states means we have four states. So if capital Q represents all the states involved in that automation. Similarly, capital sigma denotes all the alphabets, that is the input symbols. The, all the input symbols involved in the automations are given by capital sigma. For the our considered examples, we have 0 and 1. So the capital sigma denotes 0 and 1. So then for, uh, then the transition. Transition, if we consider the transition, so we all see that, so from Q0, it will take the input and it will reach Q1. So Q0 belongs to Q1. Q0 belongs to capital Q. Similarly, Q1 also belongs to capital Q. Therefore, so if we consider this uh, definition, so delta such that Q, Q0 belongs to Q into taking the symbol input symbol from the capital sigma and it reaches to Q1. Q1 also belongs to Q. So this is the uh, transition function definition. So fi finally the final state. So final state may be a single one or a multiple final state you will have the automation. But this uh, starting state is unique for any all the automations. But the final state may be one or two or more. So final state is a subset of Q. So Q will have the, all the states in the automation and F will have some of the sets or only one set from the automation. So finally, the language of M is defined by the language of machine M that accepts all the strings of M. So M is given by these five triples. Thank you students.